Hello Theatre Space team, my name's Lucy Davis and I'm an actor slash singer, sometimes a dancer from Newcastle upon Tyne. Uh, I'm really thankful for this opportunity to self-tape for you an audition. I would really love to work with you because you do so much in the region. And a fun interesting fact about me is I work at the Tyne Theatre and it's potentially the easiest, most fun job I've had, bar acting. And the monologue I'm going to be doing is from 100 Words of Snow by Taddy Hennessy. I hope you enjoy. My name's Rory. Yep, I know it's a boy's name. And yep, it is my real name. Hi, really. Right, if you really need to know, my full name is Aurora. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, Aurora. <laughs> oh, it's mortifying. You know, I swear the only people who like weird names like that are people like Bob and Tim and Sue. You like it? God, imagine living with it. I can't believe my mum thought I would be the kind of person that would suit the name Aurora. I wouldn't want to meet a person like that, would you? Sounds like a total bint. <laughs> I've totally forgiven her, as you can see. Joking. Nobody calls me Aurora. So if you call me Rory, we're getting just fine. Oh, and this, this is me dad. Say hi, dad. Oh, he's shy. He used to be a lot more talkative, weren't you, dad? And he's lost a little bit of weight as well. <laughs> you know what is mad? That there's a full person in there. This is me dad's story, really. He died, obviously, in a car accident. He was walking back from school. He's a teacher at my school. Yeah, I know. Not fine. And he was a geography teacher. The worst. Sorry, Dad. But it's true. I didn't get to see him before we got him cremated. You know when I say we, but I actually had nothing to do with it. And if you ask me, I think he would have hated being stuck in a shitty urn for the rest of eternity. But hey, they didn't ask me. So here he is. Oh, you know, the funeral was fucking awful. The coffin like slides behind these red curtains and then all I could think about was how many other people have been burned back there. And unless they're really good at sweeping, that there's still like other bits of other people in there with them. And then I started thinking about who they were and then what their family was thinking when those red curtains shut. Oh, and my mum did a reading and she was crying so much that she couldn't even get her words out. It was terrible. And I mean, it was kind of a blessing though, because the poem she'd chosen was rubbish. He would have really hated it. And then all my dad's work friends, which basically meant all of my teachers coming to walls for sandwiches. And then relatives that I never see saying empty things like, oh, well, it was a lovely service, wasn't it? And I'm like, well, my mum was crying so much that she couldn't even string a sentence together. And then they burnt me dad in a fire. So no, lovely's not the word I'd use, Aunt Carol. But I didn't say that, obviously. No, I was making tea. And they can't talk to you when they're making tea. And if they do try, you just say, sugar. And then they get distracted. And then I went to go in the garden, just to have a breath, some fresh air. And my mum was fucking crying again. So I was left to talk to everyone by myself. How responsible. You see these guys? These are my best mates. It's been the three of us since primary school. We have been through it all together. When Josh's parents got divorced, when Sarah was ill for almost a whole year. We've always been there for each other. We've always had each other's backs. And we used to have some right laughs together as well. But then things changed when Josh and Sarah got together. They started spending time together, just the two of them, leaving me out. And I mean, you know, I'm not bothered. Like I've got other friends, but sometimes, sometimes it was just a bit annoying. 